The dust has barely had time to settle on Ecamm Live version 3.9 and already we've got a new release and it includes integration for something that a lot of people have been asking for. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, a recovering perfectionist and a professional geek. And it is the geek in me that is particularly happy today because Ecamm Live version 3.9.1 has been released and the main thing that has been added is integration for, wait for it, drum roll please, the loop deck. Now, I know that there are a lot of loop deck users in the Ecamm Live community who are going to be very happy about that today, uh, but there's also probably some Stream Deck users who may be wondering what a loop deck is, or there might be some people who don't use either who are just wondering what all, all the fuss about is for either of them. So the purpose of this video is uh, to basically just tell you what the loop deck is, how you can uh, use it with your uh, Ecamm Live and what the differences are, uh, and then also stick around because at the end I've got a great offer if you are an Ecamm Live user and are thinking about get, and getting a loop deck you're not going to want to miss this one but if you are already a Stream Deck user I'm not suggesting for one minute that you just all rush out and go and buy yourself a loop deck as well but that's what I did now I have it hasn't quite arrived yet but I also want you to know that uh, I didn't do it for myself not at all it was a completely selfless act and I did it for all of you lovely people. I'm going to get it and I'm going to assess it and I'm going to put it through its paces and uh, then obviously make a few videos no doubt about how to use it with Ecamm Live and all of the functionality uh, but also how I find that I'm going to use this in my sort of day-to-day -day workflow for productivity on the Mac as well. As I say, you're welcome. You can you can thank me later. <laughs> but it isn't quite here yet. So what we're going to do today is uh, actually just go and have a look at some of the differences between it and the Stream Deck on the website. And uh, I'll explain some of the reasons why I think I definitely won't be giving up my Stream Deck anytime soon. Uh, but also some of the added functionality that perhaps the, the uh, Loop Deck ha does have that you might be quite interested in. So uh, let's just uh, start with talking about the Stream Deck though. So there, there are three models with the Stream Deck. We've obviously got the XL, the Mini and the regular version. And they're all pretty much the same aren't they they do the same things it's just that you've got more buttons the uh, the larger one has more buttons than the smaller one that is the difference well the loop deck there are three different uh, models as well uh, but there is some quite distinct differences between them and it isn't just a case of adding more of the same they do have different uh, features and functionality so let's hop over to the website uh, loopdeck.com and I'll uh, tell you about it and uh, the pros and cons that I can see right off the bat so uh, this is the website loopdeck.com and uh, as you scroll down you can see there's some different uh, options here you can check out all the different models there's uh, three of them and I've got them preloaded so we'll go through that and then it talks about the integration with things like Lightroom, Photoshop and uh, so on and also Ecamm Live as well now. So uh, let's come up to the top though and I'll just go to the first uh, model which is uh, the Loop Deck Live and this is the one that I think the Ecamm Live users are going to be most interested in. And what we've got basically is we've got this central screen here that has uh, 12 buttons, 4 by 3 uh, Now the difference between this and the Stream Deck is that although it looks kind of similar in this picture, this is actually a touch screen. So it's not quite the same in terms of having tactile buttons that you can... I can literally put my hand down onto the Stream Deck. I can feel which button that I'm touching you know, count how many in from the side it is, and I know exactly where I am at any time on it. Whereas with the Loop Deck, this is just one large screen. These are uh, programmable buttons, uh, but as I say, it's not quite the same as the uh, as the, the Stream Deck in that respect. So you've got these 12 programmable buttons, and just like Stream Deck, you know, you can change these icons using the uh, the tool that you have on the Mac, the uh, the app rather, on the Mac or the PC, uh, to update what is shown as the uh, the images on the buttons. But the big difference with this between this and the Stream Deck is that you've also got these dials on the side and there's three down this side and three down this side. Uh, and that gives you tactile control of things that you might want to adjust, you know, volume levels, for example. So with Ecamm Live, it does integrate with the, uh, the sliders, the volume controls and things like that. So if you want to fade in your background music or things like that and as part of your productions, you can use it for that. Uh, if you are doing photo or video, video editing, you can assign them to things like that. So obviously, uh, also in uh, in Photoshop, it's got links to uh, all control all of the uh, you know the, the sliders, adjustment dials, and things like that that you might have. 
So that is clearly a very big difference over the Stream Deck to have that functionality. Now there's this panel down this side and one over on this side as well. Uh, and these basically, this is just a screen that displays what is currently the function, the, cur the function that is currently assigned to that particular dial. So you can see that there's three dials and then you've got three little bits of text there. So that is just to display what the dial is doing. You've also got these sort of fixed buttons down at the bottom and the, they don't have displays on them. They can't change. It's just numbers one to seven and then another button there. Uh, but then basically you can use that to sort of change between profiles in a much the same way that you've got profiles on a stream deck. So you can use those to flick between different uh, screens and uh, have different functions assigned to everything. If you want to add more sort of pages of buttons, you can also swipe on the screen uh, and swiping left and right will swipe between different pages of, uh, of actions that you can assign to it. So that's a very similar way that you can do with uh, Stream Deck. Although obviously with Stream Deck, where we've got pages in profiles, you essentially lose one of the buttons in uh, Stream Deck because you have to assign a button to go to the next page and so on. Whereas here you just swipe in because it does have a uh, you know one big large screen on it. So the price of this is, I believe, $250. Uh, and uh, as I say, I've got a, a special offer code to tell you about a little bit later. Um, but let's go first to have a look at the uh, next version, which is, uh, so this is the Loop Deck Live. This is the one that I've ordered, by the way. And I see this has been sort of fairly comparable in uh, uh, in sort of use case and size to the Stream Deck XL. And it's priced about the same as well. So uh, although it's got... Um, it hasn't got as many buttons that you can actually program here. It has obviously got the dials as well on either side and then these buttons down at the bottom. So I think it's quite comparable as a device goes. Next, though, we've got the Loop Deck CT. Now, the Loop Deck CT is basically, if you can see, it's basically a Loop Deck Live, but then it's got this other section at the bottom. Uh, and I see that this is going to be one that's going to be really suited to people who are doing video editing or really heavy photo editing uh, because, you know, you could have this as your sort of track wheel, your jog wheel in the, uh, in the editor. And then you've also got some hard uh, uh, buttons here that aren't uh, necessary. They are, they are programmable, but they don't have a screen on them as such. Uh, and so you can use that if you are video ed editing. Obviously, I don't do any video editing, so I didn't really see the need for this particular model myself. And like I say, I've just gone for the uh, Loop Deck Live. This one is uh, basically twice the price, $500 uh, or thereabouts. And uh, yeah, it's just got this added functionality at the bottom. Now this wheel itself is a, an entire screen as well. So this whole area here is a screen uh, and that can show different things. It can even show a full clock if you really want, an analog clock, uh, but also it'll just show uh, things that you are adjusting. So if you were adjusting uh, different levels and things like that, it can actually display information on there related to that. So that is the uh, Loop Deck CT. So as you can see, it's this gives you an idea of the, uh, the sort of size of it. Uh, they are a little bit sort of slimmer than the, uh, the the Stream Deck. And obviously the Stream Deck comes with a rather large uh, stand as well. So it is all integrated. The uh, last one, by the way, the Loop Deck Live, if I just scroll down a little bit, uh, it does come with a stand. It's more of a sort of kickstand at the back as opposed to a big large stand. Uh, and then the USB cable comes out, USB-C cable comes out just at the top here. Uh, it is just a standard USB cable, so you can always uh, change the cable though. Uh, and then you can see it just sort of propped up and standing up on the desk. So it's a very similar sort of size to the, uh, the Stream Deck XL basically. So that is the uh, Loop Deck Live and the Loop Deck CT. So there's also the Loop Deck Plus. Now this is a, a slightly older model. So the Loop Deck CT and the Loop Deck Live are the more recent models. Uh, and this one is more sort of geared towards specifically, I think, photo editing, uh, where you've got different controls on here. So it is adjusting, it's actually got writing on it that says things like shadows, highlights, vibrance, temperature, and so on. So it's specifically designed more for the, uh, the photo editing sort of market there. So perhaps not as useful for for uh, Ecamm Live, although uh, I guess that all of these keys are also programmable to a certain extent, so you could use it for that as well. But uh, the price of this one is $250 as well. Uh, so basically the uh, Loop Deck Plus and the Loop Deck Live are very similar in price, uh, in similar in that they're the same. <laughs> and the Loop Deck CT is twice the price, um, but has uh, this extra functionality. There's also a range of accessories to go with them. Uh, so you can get a travel case and things like that uh, if you want to take them. So it, is, it does look actually a little bit more portable, actually, this uh, the, uh, the the Loop Deck Live, certainly than the, uh, the Stream Deck. Not that it ever really moves far from my desk, to be honest. But if you are someone who is a little bit more mobile, uh, then you can get cases for them if you uh, if you want. 
So that is the um, uh, the, the the loop decks, <laughs> and as I say, mine is uh, on its way somewhere in midair, in flight, on its way, rushing its way to me as quick as possible. <laughs> I hope. Um, and as soon as it does arrive, I will obviously give you a full roll rundown of what I think about it, how I've found the integration with Ecamm Live, and uh, what else I'm currently using it for. I do think, though, that not having these tactile keys is going to mean that Stream Deck is still going to be my go-to for uh, most things. But the real functionality that I see uh, that's good, the sort of the winner for the uh, Loop Deck is those dials, just being able to control different things. So in Ecamm Live, being able to fade music in and out and things like that, uh, and then in Photoshop and things like that, using the dials to make adjustments. Uh, and I'm sure I'll find uh, a number of other use cases for it when I actually get it into my hands. Now. If you are an Ecamm Live user, uh, then one of the perks that you get as part of Ecamm Live now is that you also get 15% off Loop Deck. <laughs> I know, 15% off that price that I've just told you. Uh, and all you need to do is go over to the Ecamm Live perks page and put in the uh, the little password that you've got. And then you will find in there the code for uh, this and then also all of the other great discounts that you get. Now, some people might not be exactly sure exactly where this is, but if you uh, contact marketing at ecamlive.com, they will give you the password to uh, to get into that. But it should also be uh, in the uh, the information that you got when you actually signed up for Ecamm Live as well. There's loads of great offer codes in there, though. So uh, definitely, if you are an Ecamm Live user, then uh, dig that out <laughs> because uh, I use uh, not just this one, but I've used quite a few of them, actually. And what I found is that the discounts and things like that that you get through these offer codes have pretty much already paid for the uh, the Ecamm Live subscription when you add them all up. So uh, some really great offers in there. So that's all for this one, uh, but obviously <laughs> I'm waiting with bated breath for the actual device to arrive. And as soon as it does, I'll be making a video and I will link to it up in the uh, the top corner and in the description of this one. Uh, and I'm hoping it won't be too long now. But in the meantime, have a wonderful day and I will leave a link to some other Ecamm Live videos that I've done over on the uh, right hand side as well. So check those out and until the next video, have a great day.